Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Swain, and I'm the director of the Washington Cancer Institute at the Washington Hospital Center, which is the biggest hospital in the D.C. area. Today I'm going to talk about what a woman should do when she gets a diagnosis of breast cancer. It's a really scary time, so it's really difficult sometimes to know what to do when there's so much information out there on the web and on the, the internet. But the, the first thing I'm going to talk about is what decisions a woman needs to make after the diagnosis. The main treatments are really divided up into two areas. One is the local treatment, and that is what the woman's going to do with the breast cancer in the breast. And there are two choices. One is to have the lump removed along with what we call a sentinel lymph node biopsy. And if the sentinel lymph node biopsy is negative, then follow that by radiation because that takes care of any cells that could be remaining in the breast. If the lymph node biopsy is positive or has cancer in it, then the woman would need to have a full axillary dissection. But again, need to have the breast have radiation after this. The other option is to have a mastectomy, again with a sentinel lymph node biopsy in the same um, paradigm that I just talked to you about. So that really, those are the two local treatments for breast cancer or the treatments of the breast itself. And the question that frequently comes up that patients ask me, well, if I choose a lumpectomy and radiation, then I don't need chemotherapy, right? Well, that's it, you're mixing up the issues because, yes, you do need radiation because it treats the breast. The second part or second decision-making aspect of breast cancer is really what kind of treatment do I need beyond these local treatments or what kind of systemic treatment do I need? And that would be either chemotherapy and or hormonal therapy. And that depends on a lot of different things. One, if the nodes are negative, we have a test called the Oncotype, in which the um, genes are looked at for that particular patient's tumor. And also we look at things like age, estrogen receptor, um, HER2 status, which is a cancer gene, to try to make a decision with the patient, with the woman, with you, on which treatment that you should get. And if the estrogen receptors are positive, we do recommend hormonal therapy in almost all cases. The complicated part is whether to get chemotherapy or not, especially if the nodes are negative, and that requires quite a long discussion. So I hope this has helped you somewhat and to really try to get a grasp on what the decisions are. So it's the first thing would be the local treatment, whether you have lump lumpectomy or mastectomy, and the second, whether you need treatment beyond that with chemotherapy and hormonal therapy.